Facts, yeah, you loved me. <laughs> you loved me, So what bro. side are you going to show him? Why are you posting pictures of him for? You're you don't even liar. care. You're a liar. I can have you act tomorrow. Ah. tomorrow. <laughs>Right, guys, welcome back. It is episode 297. It is episode three 297. Three away from the three dub. Facts. And you might be wondering, mm, if, you, if you pay attention, mm. we only do odd numbers on, yeah. we only do odd numbers out here. Yeah. The public only get to see the odd numbers. So mm. you're not gonna see episode 300. Yeah, man. Until you head on over to Patreon. I don't usually plug it until a little bit further in the episode, but it's the, the time is nigh. The time is nigh, bro. Always. And then you have to jump in. Yeah. Um, so head on over to patreon.com forward slash in gigs. Mm. Pay your boys a cheeky three pound a month. Tempe a day. Run the P to S and G. And you can hear us talk about the gossip that we like to talk about. As There's certain things usual. that we don't like to talk <clears throat> about for the public to hear. Mm. Like backstage, your boys like to cook some stuff. <laughs> yeah. Turns out I've got a whetstone at home. Do you? <laughs> Facts. I sharpen my own knives. Do Facts. you? Facts. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> Stay peeling potatoes, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, Puree yeah. in them joints. Yeah, of course. Do you? <laughs> but you wouldn't know that about us. That's something mm. you didn't know about us mm. um, unless you jump over on Patreon. Facts. And uh, speaking of things that you didn't know about us, did you know that sometimes, because your boys are booked and busy, we like to have someone supplement our meals for us? You know. We said it. Yeah. I know, I'm sometimes I'm too famous to step into yeah. Waitrose, okay? Yeah, yeah, sometimes yeah, yeah. I just can't deal with the pictures and the autographs. Exactly, I want stuff delivered to the yard. But I still want to cook it. Exactly. I don't want, it's not a microwave job. Exactly. I want to feel- Like I'm chefing up. Like I'm chefing up. Yeah. I want to feel important. Yeah. I want to feel like a man. Yeah. And the only way to do that sometimes with HelloFresh. Facts. All right, we're not gonna, you know how we do it. We say juicy at the beginning of the episodes. We yeah. go straight into the IG question. So we're not gonna take too much time to talk about HelloFresh right now. Mm. So we're gonna pause that Get on with the IG question yeah, man. and we'll get into details later. Let's go. All right, let's jump in. IG question of the week was, what's a minor inconvenience that can ruin your day? Minor, oh bro, I've got a million oh, of these. I, I can't wait for you to I've got in. a slip, I was gonna swear, I've got a slipping, <laughs> dipping million of these. <laughs> let's go. See, go, go, what's go. What's a minor inconvenience that can ruin your day? Sharting. Wow, not one of that, that's yeah. not mine. <laughs> Off the cuff. Sharting. Cup. Sharting. Bro, I remember. I remember hearing one time, I don't know if it was on a podcast or something else, just hearing about, like, this is so grim to start the episode. Yeah. How um, how complicated your, your balloon knot is. Okay. And how com complex an organism your butthole is. Okay, talk to And me. that it can actually, like the nerves in it can obviously sense the difference mm -hmm. between like solids, liquids, and gases. So you know if you, so like okay, the okay. sensation in your guts, yeah is the same either way. Okay. Whether you've got, uh, whether you need to duke, yeah. diarrhea, yeah. or just pop, yeah. your butt knows. Yeah. But no one knows why your butt knows, it just knows. Okay. So like, if I need to fart, I'm confident that even though my stomach's bubbling, yeah. once, I, once your butt, once daddy just relaxes a little bit, yeah. it's just air coming out. Yeah. My butt knows that. Yeah. So when we're sharting, yeah. something between the blood brain barrier <laughs> yeah. is, so off. Is, is off. Yeah, I hear you. And I'm you. not dealing with that. Mm, mm. And first of all, so that's not first of all, this is like ninth of all, <laughs> minor inconvenience. Yeah. <laughs> your pants. Sharting, bro. Yeah, that's that's. Rocking doo doo in your pants is a minor inconvenience that's ruined your day. Yeah, but it's, it's sometimes people don't know that they're gonna leave a couple specks when they're fighting. Yeah, but but I'm, I'm assuming if you've done it mm. and you know you've left something in there, mm. You're finding out there and then. Yeah, you're gonna find out there and then, but- So they, I'm saying that's not a minor yeah, inconvenience. Of, of, don't get me wrong. That's the worst yeah, yeah, possible yeah, thing yeah, I can yeah, imagine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Especially if it's like a liquidy esque oh, type. That's not me being, oh, yeah, annoying. Oh, another one by- Not again. Yeah, yeah. Thank God I bought spares. <laughs> Who's bringing spares? I'm going Facts, back home. that's what I'm saying. I'm going back home. It's not yeah, minor yeah, inconvenience, yeah. the day's yeah, yeah, chalked. Yeah, yeah. Fact, I was literally gonna say that word for word. The day is chalked. <laughs> the day is chalked, bro, yeah. All right, say less. Shout in. All right, what's a minor inconvenience that ruins your day? Finding out your crush got into relationship. Oh my God. There's not enough Fs in this fax, bro. <laughs> there isn't, that's <sighs> stomach churning. Yeah, finding out your ex got into a relationship. No, your ex, sorry, your crush. Your crush. Your crush got into a relationship, yeah. That's butters. Yeah, that is butters. That ex is, is bad as well. Not for I mean, me, not usually. To an extent. It's, yeah, 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 nah, yeah, 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 nah. yeah, 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 yeah. A crush would, would, yeah, that would break a me. A crush would murk me. Yeah. But sometimes in an ex, like, when they're in a new relationship, you, I, I, this hasn't, obviously hasn't happened to me in flipping years. Yeah. But like, I sometimes think that like, but you don't love him though. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Because the way you were with <laughs> me, the way you, you loved, loved Yeah, me. that was your true self. <laughs> Whatever you give to my man is a facade. 
<laughs> it's a facade. <laughs> Facts, yeah, you loved me. You loved me, So what bro. side are you going to show him? Why are you posting pictures of him for? You're you don't even liar. care. You're a liar. I can have you at tomorrow. Ah. What is this? Like, I don't understand why you're why trying you so hard. Why these games? Bro. That's hilarious. Oh, it's mad, bro. But you love me. <laughs> <laughs> Jokes. Oh, when I'm actually in the mood to do my chores and my mum shouts, go do the dishes. That's jarring. Mm. That's very, very jarring. When you're in a space, right? And you know them days where you wake up and you're in a good mood. You feel like, oh, let me just clean the living room. Let me yeah, just yeah, do yeah. something. Facts, 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 facts. And your mom's just like, oh, go do this, go do that. I was like, I was going to do it anyway. Bro. Let me ruin my mood. Let me do, let me clean. Let me do whatever I need to do in my own time. This whole, I was going to do it anyway thing. Mm. That's just what, when I said before, I've got problems with authority. Authority, yeah. I've got problems. Yeah. I could have a dish in hand. Yeah. And then all my mum would have to say is like, oh, good, because I was going to tell you to do that anyway. Promise you I'm yeah. dropping it. <laughs> Promise you I'm, I'm dropping it on the floor. You don't tell me what to do. <laughs> I'm a grown ass man. You don't tell me what I to do. I promise you I'm dropping it on the oh, floor. Oh, I can't handle stuff oh, like that. Oh, it's jarring. Ruins your day. It's jarring. That's spot on minor it's inconvenience. Jarring. Ru yeah. ruins, ruins your, your day. day. Ruins your day. I remember one. Oh. <sighs> Obviously, I used to work in hospitality. And this is when I was still living back at my mum's. I had gone home probably for, I don't know. I, no, I could have still been living in London before I moved to Manny. Um, and I think my mum had friends. You know when you know what parents are like when they've got their people over, like their friends or whatever? They they want to go a little bit overboard, especially yeah. when it comes to their Showing kids. off. Yeah, showing off is the word. Showing, showing off. Showing off is the word. And my mum my mom asked me to get her some food. She was chilling with one of her friends at Liverpool. I can't remember who it was. She asked me to get her food. Uh, my mum food from the kitchen. Mm. So I did, I can't remember what dish it was. I got some food and I went back to my room because I was leaving them to it. And my mum said, how can you give me a plate this cold? It was a hot food, by the way. How can you give me a plate this cold? Don't you work in the kitchen? I think, I, I think you've told me that before. I wanted to scream, James. Bam, I would front kick the plate. <laughs> Straight. I was like, first of all, I don't work in the kitchen. Yeah, 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 don't you work in the kitchen? I don't work in a kitchen, my G. Facts. I work in a, get your facts straight. I'm, <laughs> am I, are you my mother or not? Do you know me or not? 100%. Bro, I was you Don't say stuff like that because you got friends around. Bro. I was livid. How can you give me a plate that's called don't you work in a kitchen? That's so disrespectful. <laughs> am I your child or not? <laughs> That's so, so disrespectful. disrespectful. Wow. I couldn't believe it. Well, my that's not that, because this is why I sometimes I do wish I was brought up with more of an iron rod <laughs> because my tongue would run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'd be like, where do you work? <laughs> Let's talk about that for a second. About, yeah. don't know, where, where do you work? I wouldn't leave the off for weeks. Yes. <laughs> James, I wouldn't leave the off for weeks. <laughs> I can't be spoken to like that. I was so angry. I so bet. angry. I bet. <sighs> anyway. Um, Damn, yeah, I'm bro, sorry. Bro, nah, so bro. Yeah. It's tough. Mm. Tough. Parents get so gassed when their they, bedrooms they are do. about. They Talk do. Talk to the youths like nothing. They do. I remember my dad. Uh, I remember when I was a kid, I think I wanted to be a physio. Okay. I think I might say this before. I wanted to be a physio before I knew what a physio actually yeah, was. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to be a physio before you, way before uni, because all I loved was football. So yeah. That's my gateway to football. Being a physio. I wanted to be a physio, yeah, yeah, because I didn't know what a physio actually did. Turns mm. out they just rub man's leg. <laughs> didn't know that. Yeah, so yeah, I was yeah. like, yeah, phys uh, physio, because the careers advisor or whatever, mm -hmm. I just said, I want to be in sport. Yeah. And they just said, mm, physio. Physio, yeah. So on track to doing that, my dad thought I worked as a physio for years. Really? Once we'd left uni for like, I don't know, three years after when I was personal training. He was telling people- oh, He was my, telling people I was boy, a physio. A physiotherapist. Yeah, he didn't, he didn't know and he didn't care. <laughs> so I had uncles saying like, how's the physiotherapy going? And you're like, what? And I'm like, what? I'm not in physiotherapy. Fam, I'm not a physiotherapist. <laughs> Jarring wow. bro, but I didn't care. He just said whatever came to his head and oh, got on with his day. Oh, mad. He's, he's just thinking it's, it's roundabout. Yeah, he roundabout, does. Yeah. Physio or Saturn. Yeah, I don't yeah. know, man. All, ask, all him, I, ask, all him. I know, ask him. All I know is broke. <laughs> <laughs> all I know is he's broke. Because he's asking me for yeah, money all the time. He's asking me for money all the time. He obviously on an internship. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> oh, God, hilarious. Yeah, I'll learn what it's called when you, when you start when making money. When you start money. making bread. Yeah. yeah, start paying me back and I'll learn the job. <laughs> Thanks, though, bro. My mum messes me every day calling me a CEO. Yeah. <laughs> she calls me, how's my CEO doing? That's jokes. 
How's my CEO? How's my nice CEO? Gassed. She's oh, gassed. She's gassed. Yeah. Tables have turned. Yeah, my dad screenshotted me my our Instagram numbers today. Sick. He said, them followers are bumping up. Sick. Yeah, he knows now. He knows. Let's go. Then back then he was saying physio <laughs> sat on some bullshit. Some broke boy bullshit. Facts, bro. <laughs> my mom was like, oh, don't you work in the kitchen? <laughs> From kitchen worker to CEO. <laughs> yeah. It took our time, but they we're They should be ashamed of themselves. Yeah. Actually, deep in it, they should be showing, they don't love us properly. Do you know what I mean? What do you mean from don't you work in the kitchen, <laughs> run me a hot plate yeah. to how's, how's my, my CEO? CEO? <laughs> oh, because my money's up. How are you my mother <laughs> or, or not? not? <laughs> oh, my jaw hurts. Oh, God, that's so funny. Oh, my are you day. my mother or not, bro? Oh, bro, they say How's they my CEO? <laughs> <laughs> it's hilarious, my G. <laughs> No, it's too funny. It's too funny. I love it. Scumbags. I love it. I love it. So it's funny. Joke. Well played. <laughs> anyway, what's a minor convenience that ruins your day? Waking up and see no notifications on your phone whatsoever. Oh, wow. Yeah, oh, it's it's Mr. Big. Unpopular. Yeah, it's Sometimes I refresh my shit. I'm thinking I'll close nothing? it up and open it again because nothing? I think something's not going through. I'll be, I'll be looking at my data, my service, everything. Yeah. Am I on airplane mode? What's going on? <laughs> yeah. Nothing? 24 hours? Nothing? Yeah, fam, because I slept. Wow. Yeah. Dropping an item and dropping a second item while bending over to pick up the first. Long, very your long. Your blood literally starts boiling. Yeah. yeah. Bubbling under your skin. It's like, for God's sake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's annoying because you're in public, you can't kick off the way you, you want can't. to. You can't. you want to dash the yeah, basket yeah. and kick everything you off look the floor. psychotic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you've yeah, got to yeah. compose yourself. You have to compose yourself. Oh God. A fly that's bothering me that isn't targeting anyone else. Jarring. <laughs> yeah, because you stink. Yeah. <laughs> that's what you're saying. You're just Jarring, telling yeah. me I stink. Jarring. Do you know what one, oh my God, do you know what one annoys me, bro? Tell me. You know when you've got like the tiny, tiny little fruit flies yes. or gnats or whatever, yeah. and on a hot day, they're just on your cheek and you just don't know. <laughs> and it's only, when, it's only yeah, when you go like- I'm with Ellis. That's the, you've never seen that? Nah. So you've never gone like this on a hot day and then you look and there's just a, like a little black something there. Nah, no, never. Bro. Literally never. Fuck both of you. <laughs> on my life, Fuck, that's, literally that's never. Literally, edit that out or something then. <laughs> Because if you want to embarrass me- That's never happened in my entire team. You've never had like a little satin on your face? Not by doing this and seeing a bug on my hand, my bro, never. Swear. Mothers. Touch your face more then, and you can fuck <laughs> off as well. <laughs> Say the next one. Mothers, that's never- Shut up then. <laughs> <laughs> on to the next. Wow. <laughs> wow. People coming into the cubicle next to me whilst I'm taking a shit. Facts. 100. Fact. Yeah, 100, because you, you fear yeah, everything. Yeah, bro, you can't relax anymore. You can't, you can't, you can't. You, you can't, can't, and it's, your five minute break is now turned to 15. Yeah, Because you've got to be, you got to be tactical with every single your block. Your back pussy locks yeah. in. <laughs> that bussy? <laughs> yeah, yeah, a bussy. That bussy locks in, bro. <laughs> bro, it's jarring. Oh I, my um, God. <laughs> I went, I did that to someone the other day. Okay. He didn't care though. Okay. Cause he, I walked in to piss yeah. in the gym. I remember. And it's the same way that, <laughs> listen you man. One time I said the funniest bar to me and I've never forgot it. What? When we were in the airport in Heathrow before we went to Austria, this guy went to take a piss. <laughs> and he come out and he said, fam. <laughs> He said there were a man in the cubicle breathing like they're in hospital beds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I couldn't breathe. I could be for like 10 minutes. Like they're in hospital beds. Bro. <laughs> you know, oh, they were fighting each other. They were <laughs> regulating their breaths, my G. They were fighting each other in that Bro. cubicle. I went to piss in the gym the other day. <coughs> the in a cubicle next to me was literally like. <sighs> yeah. Like he just ran from treadmill to the toilet. Oh, fighting for his life. He was like, oh, and he yanked the thing. The so you flush. know when he pulls the toilet roll? Oh, okay. And he goes, Brrr. Yeah. he was like, Brrr. rip, wipe, Brrr. rip, oh, wipe. Days. Just breathing the whole time. I was like, oh, oh. my days. He has, he has no manners. He knows <laughs> I'm manners. in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He didn't care. To be, I, I have to rate that. I have to. I have to rate I have because. To. That's what I'm here for. I'm yeah, in the toilet. I'm, here, my, I'm, I'm in my four walls doing my thing. Mind your business. Facts. I have to rate it. If I'm gonna do it anyway, I'm gonna do it's it gonna here. It's gonna be here. I'm, I'm keeping myself to myself. Facts. And I was doing this before you even got here. Facts. So leave me alone. Facts. If you don't want to smell it anymore, dip. Yeah. If you yeah. don't want to see who caused this, dip. Yeah, bro. Facts, 100% bro. Facts, facts, bro. But yeah, when I'm in there, my toes leave the floor yeah. and my bussy <laughs> locks up. 
I have to wait for whoever's next door in the next cubicle to flush and dip. Flush and flush kick and out. Dip. And I have to wait a few seconds to hear that. The yeah, footsteps. Yeah, dum, dum, yeah, just the, I want to hear the head and the hand dryer. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to hear that. That's what yeah. I get. Yeah. I let releases. go. I let go. Because now we're covered. <laughs> because everything you hear through that is, yeah, yeah, is yeah. speculation. <laughs> speculation. <laughs> That not might have even been in this room. Facts. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. I've never felt so, so oh. relaxed. When that hand dryer's on, I let anything yeah. happen. Quickly as yeah, well, yeah, because yeah, I yeah. don't know when the next I'm going to be free. <laughs> and they all hang out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jokes. <laughs> oh. All right, back to it. What's the minor inconvenience that ruins your day? When they address you by your name and say, can I ask you a question? Yeah. <sighs> can I ask you a question is the dumbest question. Yeah. Yeah, just say what you want to say. Don't put me on a pedestal. Kind there's of thing. this thing as, as, as well, like, also, there's only so many words in my life that I'm going to hear. Mm. So you saying, can I ask you a question? That's six words, you're just wasting time. Yeah, ask yeah. me the question. Yeah, facts. Ask me the question. There's only so many words my ears will ever hear. Open and you could be yeah. denying me from just majesty. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I hear you completely. I'm telling you, all these open-ended questions are long. 100, yeah. Being left on red. Facts. Yeah, that, that is that, that will will, ruin, that will actually that will ruin, ruin your day, your day. especially yeah. from someone special. <laughs> special? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That will ruin your day. Wow. Dro dropping my keys at the door when I have to shit really bad. Mm. One time, I, I know. Hate to make it a shitty conversation. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, one time I remember rocking. Yeah. I ran in the door. Yeah. Had to dip upstairs, mm. shit, and then obviously. Once you finish shitting, you're not thinking, like, yeah, you're yeah, just yeah. bliss. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So I went yeah. and hopped. I remember I came up because I was in my ensuite, flushed, yeah. wiped, flushed, washed my hands, skipped out of the bathroom and jumped on my bed yeah. for like one of these like yeah, foot yeah, kicky yeah. ones on my phone. Like 45 minutes later, I went down to get a drink. The door was swinging open with the keys on the outside, dangling. <laughs> I forgot what kind of rush I was in. No! Bro. Wow. 100% yes. Wow. Yes, bro. I bet when you walked downstairs and saw the derby, you thought there's an intruder in the yard. I said, <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> You would have thought there's an intruder in the yard. Bro. Oh my God. That's scary. Fair. That's scary. Damn. Yeah. Because I was my down. most vulnerable five minutes, like four or five minutes ago, I was my most vulnerable. So who was here? Bro, they would have stormed in. Literally like the there's, role play that you said to me a few months a, ago. There's not a worse time. For a man to bust in there. <laughs> and while you're brucking, what? vulnerable. Boxes to ankles, vulnerable. Yeah, there's, there's nothing, you can't fight him. <laughs> you can't, because he's seen it a mile away. <laughs> it's, it's them ones. I know for a fact it was me. If I'm, if I'm in a situation where I'm running to the toilet or like trying to get my keys in, I'm running to the toilet, boxes to the ankles and my top's off. My <laughs> oh, top's off. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm vibrating so and I'm sweating. Sometimes- My top is off. Sometimes my stomach's so, Painful. Yeah. When I'm got when I'm really bad yeah. and I've got like poison or something. <laughs> Sometimes, oh god, poison. <laughs> when I got some kind of poison, you going you have to get a poison out. Sometimes, you know when yats um, tie their top up and then tuck yeah, it yeah, through there. Yeah. I have to like, I, I if there's no flannels nearby yeah. or, or hand towels that I could like grind here, yeah. or like you want to buy something yeah. because your stomach is turning. Yeah. I need to do this. Yeah. So sometimes I'll wrap my top up. And it ends up being like a little crop top thing. <laughs> and I'm there just, oh, just rocking. You know, do you know what I do? You know what tactic I use, right? So a lot of the time, yeah, again, if, there, if, there's, if there's poison in me that I'm yeah. trying to get out, yeah. usually nine times out of 10, I'm hunched over. Like, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. just like, oh, on my phone, I'm literally head, head in hand like this, brocking, especially one of them ones where so you've just woken up. Yeah. It's in the morning, like and you're hungover, night out, whatever. Oh my you're God. You're woken up and there's poison in yeah, you and you need period. to get out. Yeah. yeah, you're just like this. Bracken, bracken, bracken. But the tactic, the tactic I do, instead of leaning forward, I sit up. Yeah. And let the whole thing flush out. <laughs> let the, sit up and let the whole thing flush out. Swear. Yeah, 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 yeah. it helps. Oh, it helps. nothing helps me through that, but just, just <laughs> bearing through it. Just <laughs> breath work. <laughs> wow, it's nasty. Oh my God. And sometimes I, I'm on my phone, I can't focus. Yeah, oh, yeah. I lock the phone and <laughs> dash it. I can't. <laughs> Cause whatever's turtling is hurting at the moment, yeah. <laughs> Hilarious. Oh, hilarious, God. hilarious. Well, I'm gonna speed through these last yeah, ones here. Yeah, 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 What's yeah. the minor inconvenience that ruins your day? An unnecessary I miss you, facts. Damn, when heartbreak my, hotel. <laughs> of course, 
when my finger slips through the toilet paper and it gets shit on my fingers. I think that's happened to everyone. It has happened that to has everyone. To have happened it has to happened everyone. to literally and everyone. It's that, the worst. It's the worst. That is an inconvenience. I scream when that happens to me. Oh, you, you start looking at the tissue like it's their fault. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> bro. And you ever, damn, this is a very, very, very- <laughs> Period episode. Yeah, fecal yeah. based conversation. <coughs> bro, <laughs> you get doo-doo under that fingernail. Yeah. Good luck <laughs> getting that out. That smell will stick with you, bro. It's like yeah, turmeric. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just stays there. <laughs> it's like turmeric. Like that bitch stays there for days. <laughs> <laughs> you see the chicken with turmeric with your bare hands. Oh, you can't mess with turmeric, boy. You, you can't, can't get can't it mess off. with that spice. That ain't coming off, bro. Yeah, that doo doo. Yeah. That stench. Oh my. I have to get the nail brush and go after it. Soap after soap after soap. It's not going nah, anywhere. That's hilarious. Oh, that is hilarious. God. <laughs> it's like turmeric. <laughs> wow, that's so specific. <laughs> so on point. Well, you can't get that bitch off. You can't. <sighs> when your boyfriend keeps calling you whilst you're at your sneaky Link's house. Oh, that will ruin you. That day. would ruin you. Because that level day. of guilt. Yeah. Nah. Damn. When you switch your electric toothbrush on, and the vibrations aren't vibrating. Yep. Yep. That's yep. me tweeting. Yep. 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 So yep. frustrating. Yep. Or yep. it dies mid brush, and you just have to manual it the way through because they're not built for manual. Yeah, they're not. It's not the same dexterity. Yeah, it's not tough they're not. Enough. They're not built for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that sus. Yeah, man. <laughs> they're not built. For, they're not. They're not built for that thing there. So it's jarring, bro. <laughs> anyway, go on. Driving behind someone that's doing the speed limit. That's mm, so annoying. Mm, mm, That's mm. so annoying. Me every day. My boyfriend's son. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> My boyfriend's son. Having a boner at the wrong time and place. Yep. Every male has been there. Yep. So every I don't guy think women there. really appreciate how bad it is. Facts. Especially like 14 to 19. Yes. That yes. era. Yes. That it's, not, it's literally not funny. Yeah, yeah, it's not funny. It's not our fault. Yeah. We, we just get horny. Yeah, facts. Dropping loose change on the ground and picking it up in front of people. Yeah. That's, oh, I would- Especially when you can't it. get your nail under there to scoop it. And you're just there for ages. You're just there like- I'm letting it go. Yeah. I'm literally letting yeah, it go. Yeah, yeah. When you walk into a room to do something, but you forget what it was. Ah. Oh. <sighs> Bro. That's every human being. Bro. That's every human being. I do that almost every day. It, yeah. it drives me insane. Literally, especially if it's upstairs, because I leap and yeah, bound yeah, up yeah. the stairs, run into my room, and I'm just like, why what am, am I, I here? What am I doing here? Oh, it's so just weird. like plopping the pillows and stuff. <laughs> and then you, you wait until you get in the car. Yeah, and yeah, it pops yeah, back it pops, in yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, bro, I circulate the room. It's like, whatever I was looking for is going to pop up, because I can't remember. Yeah, yeah, but I'm not yeah, leaving yeah, this room yeah, until I find yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It drives me insane. Right, Anyways, guys. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show, guys. Welcome back. Thank you for having us in your living rooms, As bedrooms, per, trains, in your ears, cars, period. in your ears, in there, man. Uh, today, <clears throat> I've already said it, but I say it again. Please, guys, if you want to dodge yourself into the cult baby situation that we've got over here at SNG Studios, yeah, head on over to patreon.com forward slash shits and gigs. Yes, sir. Real quick, head yes, on sir. over there and donate a lovely three pound a month, ten p a day. Run the p to your boys and your daddies at SNG, yes, sir. and you're in. That's all it takes. That's literally all it takes. A little, little sign up fee and you're in. That's it. And then- You have access to so much. <clears throat> access to everything, everything that you could you ever want. Everything you could ever want over there. Mm. Your daddies are there just ruling stuff. Standard. Just puppeteering. Standard. There's tings over there. There's brares over there. Someone commented and said, I didn't know everyone in the Discord was so sexy. Yeah, Someone said on. that the other day. Come on. I didn't know everyone in the Discord was so sexy. Come on. You can be part of that. And it was a girl that said that. There you go. You could be part of that. Bro, so you could be you could be joining in on that. There's people chirps in, lips in, and grips in over Standard. there. And you're just over here on YouTube doing what? Not subscribing. Not sus That's what you're doing. Not subscribing, <laughs> which brings me to my next point. If you are on YouTube, <laughs> start subscribing. Facts. There's a little red button there, and some of you just adamant. You just bullish, ad it. adamant not to press it. You don't want what's best for us. And that's what's best for us is the one mil plaque. And that literally is after I'm gonna this is how much it means to me. I won't make any more noise about subscribers after that. Facts. I won't Let's make go. I won't I won't make any more mm. noise about subscribers. Once that gold thing's sitting there, yeah. you man won't hear me say subscriber again. Yeah. Unless I'm I'm unless I'm just licking your asses. Yeah. <laughs> unless I'm saying thanks for stuff. <coughs> I ain't gonna yeah. ask you, you man to do nothing. So yeah. just get us there and daddy and shuts it. up. That's it. I'm over it. Yeah, mate. Not um, too long to go. Yeah, boy. And for yeah, everyone who's listening, um, please follow the channel. Please uh, give us a nice review. 
Five stars is preferable, but whatever you say, please say it with your chest. Let's go. And uh, again, Rem is not in the studio today. He'll be back next week. Yes, so until then, mm. um, <clears throat> no top five. People were not happy about there not being a top five. Mm, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised because it's, I have such a love hate with yeah, top five. I know five. you do. And they know that you have a love hate. They know yeah, that I have a love hate for it. But um, oh, yeah, when he gets back, We'll jump into that as well. Yes, right, guys, it's happened. It's here. Mm. We forget about it. But apparently, it's turned up just like it does every year. It's Father's Day. Facts. Father's <laughs> Day has arrived, guys. Yeah. And what are we going to do? We're going to show our appreciation. Yeah. And there is no better way than showing said appreciation than treating the father figure in your life to Hello Fresh. Come on. Hello Fresh, we've done this before. Come on. Your boys are chefing up the game yes, with Hello Fresh. Yes, sir. And this time, Treat him to their limited edition Father's Day menu yeah, for just three ninety nine per portion. So as I said, guys, this is a limited time offer. So we're going from the 10th of June mm. to the 23rd of June. So you've still got time to jump in and it's valid for new and existing HelloFresh customers. Okay, That's what we like to hear. What we like to hear, <laughs> new and existing customers. And like if you're thinking, hear. oh, bruv, I canceled my subscription flipping six months ago, yeah. 12 months ago, 13 months ago. I was there two years ago and I canceled. I wish I never canceled, bruv, yeah. it's fine. As long as you canceled 12 months ago yeah. or more, mm. You're a new customer. There you go. Sign back up. You're a new customer. There you you get go. the offer, okay? There you go. Right. So, Fwakes, mm, treat us. Me. Tell us daddies <laughs> what's on the menu. What's so, the Father's Day menu? Obviously, as we, as you guys know, we love to cook. We like to cook new things. And sometimes we need more things in our repertoire. Obviously, HelloFresh hook us up with that. And the three dishes I've chosen this week is the barbecue beef quesadillas. Say less. You can't really go wrong with barbecue beef quesadillas. It Brother, sounds just... Brother, mm, 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 the mm. quesadilla slap Exactly. Always. And I'm sure all the fathers out there are going to appreciate it as well. You can cook that in under 20 minutes. It's just, it's just buff. It's just buff. They also sent me um, the ultimate chicken tikka masala and the rice as well. A company with the naan bread. It's, it's buff, bro. Never made a chicken tikka from scratch. So I'm looking forward to making no that. No one bro. has, bro. Yeah, this is why yeah. we need companies like exactly. this. Because Hello no one has and no one will. Patterning us all up. Coming with all the ingredients on the side as well, man. It just looks easy to make. And the pictures look, pictures look fantastic. And the last but not least, the one I'm looking forward to the most, the hot and crispy fried chicken burger, sriracha mayo, sesame chips, and a sambal slaw, my G. Come, I don't even know what that is. Bro, and a sambal slaw, I don't, slaw, know, I don't, I don't know what that slaw it is. sounds and it's looks amazing. Sounds pickled and or something. <laughs> and it sounds you know, yummy. <laughs> do you know one thing I like about the actual chips? Good, they actually good. give you potatoes that you got to dice up and cook. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's I know, I know, I know. They don't I know, do yeah, the fries. Yeah, they don't play games. I remember the first time I opened, yeah, I opened a bag thinking, who likes soggy chips? Yeah, yeah. No one. Open a bag, it's just a potato. Just a raw. It said, do it. Show him you care and yeah, do exactly. it. Exactly, slice me up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you gotta slice it up, man. It's, it's gonna be buff. This the hot chicken and the hot and crispy chicken burger. I'm looking forward to making that. Looking Gang. forward to making that. Looks good. Right, guys, as we had said, these meals are rapid, okay? Yeah. So we all know we're busy. We're busy bodies out here, booked Facts. and busy, but Facts. just 20 minutes. Mm. Just 20 minutes you can cook a healthy meal for you, your family, your father, whoever there. Yeah, so man. guys, what you need to do is do not forget, head into the description, yes. use the link and order yes. your HelloFresh box today. Okay? Facts. So literally to today. That's all you need to do. That's all you need to right, do. Right, gang, let's get back to the episode. Cool. Right, guys, let's take a very, very quick break from the episode hey, to <clears throat> let you know, guys, that if you didn't know already, if you haven't heard already, it's mm. Smooth Sack Summer. Standard. Turns out it's Smooth Sack Summer. Standard. Okay, we don't do grinding, we don't do chafing, we don't do Brillo brush burns, bro. It's smooth, smooth Sack Summer this time round. Yeah, man. Okay? City boys! <laughs> City we boys! Up. We up. <laughs> we <laughs> up, boy. So when you're playing in the summer sun, mm. make sure you're scaped from pubes to bum. Let's Ooh, go. Let's go. That's right, guys. This summer, keep your balls cool while still looking hot with manscaped. Standard. Leaders in below the waist grooming are making sure we all have a ball this summer by giving our pants partners everything they need to stay fresh. Mm. Right guys, dive headfirst into Smooth Sack Summer yes, by going to manscaped.com and for 20% off and free shipping worldwide, use our exclusive code SNG. So you're in November Golf. Thank you very much. Let's get back to the episode. Okay. Um, so before we carry on, <clears throat> talk to me. I finished Succession. I where are you up to, Ellis? I have not finished it. Right, I've got four episodes left. I'm on season four. Oh, like you four might have both ahead of me. Yeah, I'm, man. So you, I can say everything that I've seen there because I think I'm on episode five. I want to believe? I think I'm on the episode after he's obviously, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's the episode. My favorite is right. 
Not exactly. Not exactly. Because you, said, you that said it's a season three finale. Yeah, but it still happened. It, it did still happen. It still yeah. happened. But lots of stuff before happened. Before I was crazy. Yeah, <laughs> lots of stuff happened before. Yeah. But yeah. Um, last thing I've seen was the episode after he passed away. Um, obviously, they were all in his yard. Um, his little sightings, little assistant trying to get her stuff. She dropped all the stuff on the floor. Oh, Shit buckled on the floor at the end bro, of the episode. Yeah. He's like, get off me, get yeah, off me. Get off me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's the last thing I've watched. You finished it, right? I finished it. <sighs> So the, juicy. Those 10, 10, 10 out of 10 episodes, were they 10 out of 10? So which ones were they? Because Elliot said that the I'm last two. Sure, I'm pretty sure it's the last two. It's I nine actually, and 10. I would say it's I don't more, think it was the last two. I, I don't it was think like it was the last two. Eight, I thought it was. I think, I think number like, 10 only came out like a couple weeks yeah, ago. Yeah, I think it's like seven, eight or six and seven or something like number that. Number eight? Yeah. Because this is what I mean. Ellis had a call uh, yesterday. Okay. Number eight yeah. has to be on there. Can you Google it and see which, one, yeah, yeah. which ones they are? Because I swear to God, when I was watching it, because I intentionally didn't check which, which one? ones were the 10 out of 10 okay. to see if I could deep which yeah, ones they yeah, want. Yeah. Number eight has to be one of them. Yeah. Oh it? my God. Mm. What, I, was, I promise you I was sat on the edge of my seat from the beginning of the episode to the end of the episode. Mad. It was phenomenal. Mad. Say less. It was phenomenal. Say less. Episode 10 bangs as well. The season finale. Is it? <clears throat> from it, that it is nine and 10. Nine is it really? Ten. It's nine and 10. What did them episode? Oh wait, no, it's not. Sorry, it's season. F oh no, this is saying it's season three, episode nine, and season two, episode ten. Nah, bro, it's season four. They have a ten. They it's have hundred percent um, season four. Let me see. Where's IMDb? It's on IMDb, right? Yeah, and it says they're the best. It says they're the best uh, episodes rated. Oh god, Connor's wedding was a deep episode. Oh god, yeah. Uh, oh, Connor's wedding nine point nine. 10. I've seen that one. Episodes of Succession, <clears throat> season three, episode nine. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, 9.8, 9.1. So where's the perfect tens then? Because he's just saying 9.8, 9 point something. Hmm. Never mind. Well, Connor's wedding was definitely up there for me. Uh, so you, yeah, you guys have seen both seen Connor's wedding now. Yeah, yeah, I've seen yeah, Connor's yeah. wedding. Um, that's, that's the episode he passed away. No? Yeah, <coughs> yeah, episode three on the plane. Mm. Blah blah blah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that was <clears throat> phenomenal. Yeah. <clears throat> In my opinion, episode eight was probably the best episode I've seen. Mm, say less. And uh, yeah, so yeah, the ending is. Mad. Is any potential of season five or nah? <sighs> I hope for their sake they don't do a season five. Okay. Because the way they've left things is like, it's all sewn up. Okay. And like, it's one of them ones, if they do start a season five, there's no, so basically the end of season four, there's no loose ends. Okay. So if they do start a season five, they're gonna have to start, <clears throat> start some again. shit again. And okay. it's just not worth it. Okay. Okay. But fantastic se series. Say less. So yeah. when did you finish that, by the way? Yesterday afternoon. Okay. So I'm, and I'm assuming you've not watched anything else bar succession until. I watched two episodes last night of that that Disney Plus anime. Oh yeah, that's still on my watch list. Um, actually, yeah. So yeah, Tengoku uh, Daimakyo, really good. Yeah. Okay. I'm thoroughly, thoroughly, I'm on like episode five or six. Mm. Thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying it. Oh gang, okay. They love a cliffhanger. Okay. Oh my God. Okay. Last night I slammed my laptop closed just out of frustration. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just our frustration, bro. Yeah, yeah. It's so juicy. Okay, so so I'm enjoying it uh, like plot wise. Mm. I haven't enjoyed an anime like this since God knows when. Okay. T talking purely plot wise. Okay. Um, it's like, I haven't enjoyed a plot as good as this since um, Promise Neverland. Okay. I and that was that like yet. two years, <clears throat> season one of Promise Neverland. Yeah. Probably like two years ago, okay. three years ago that came out. Um, really good. So nice. Really, really good. So, nice. so yeah, I would have definitely advised that. Um, but yeah, Succession was, wow, it was, it became part of me. I bet. It is a part of me too. It is, I was, there are days where I just sit there and binge it from yeah, afternoon tonight. I was binging tonight. it, bro. Mm. So yeah, to afternoon tonight where I would like fall asleep at yeah. night, like close my laptop and then open my laptop first thing in the morning, just Continue. carry on watching yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my yeah. God, I was so in yeah. there, bro. I'll be, by the time we record next episode, I'll be done. Yeah, we can me fully, too. Me yeah, too. by the time you guys have finished, you're gonna watch an emotional breakdown from all of them. Mm. From Kendall, yeah, different episodes. Yeah, Kendall, that doesn't surprise me. Yeah, he stays breaking down. Yeah. Roman, okay, and Shiv, okay, all separate times. Okay, they lose it at times, bro. Okay, wow, <sighs> wow, the ending's wow, bro. <laughs> okay, okay, wow, the ending's Damn. good. Okay, I wow, the ending's this. good, bro. Okay, mm. uh, I think Greg remains my yeah, my favorite guy. There's one bit I'm gonna. Uh, 
I'm going to have to spoil it for you, man. It's, okay. It doesn't relate okay. to the story whatsoever. Okay. Okay, okay. There's one bit I have to give Greg his flowers. He stands up to Tom in one episode. Okay. Good. Good. He stands up to Tom. There's one time, because you know how Tom just bullies him? Yeah, always. Greg does something that pisses Tom off, mm -hmm. and then Tom finds out about it. Mm. So he goes, he corners him. He takes him into like a bathroom or whatever. Corners mm. him. He's like, what's going on? Mm. Swear, swear. And he like loses it. And starts like pushing Greg around. Yeah. And Greg's like, stop, 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 stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, typical, typical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tom smacks him in his face. Greg smacks him back. Oh. Stands up, smacks him back. Gang. Stares at him. Gang. Yes. Yeah. Tom would have been like, raw. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know you had this in you. Tom wanted to do something else. Yeah, yeah. But then Greg stepped forward again. Mm. And Tom just said, la, 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 okay. la, la, la. I was like, let's go. <coughs> Come up yes. as he needed it. I love Greg in he that show. He needed it. He needed I it. I love him. Um, Damn, he but, needed that. Wow, what an ending. Okay. Really, really thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed that show. Gang. Fuck, Gang. I loved it, bro. Yeah. Nice. I can't wait. I can't wait to, like I said, uh, next time we record on Monday, I will be up to date and we can discuss. Fully. All right. Me too. Gang, 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 gang. Me too. All right, cool. So you've got a story for us. I have got a story for you guys. Um, so this was sent to me on Instagram and I'm just going to read away. Okay, cool. So this is not a dilemma. They're not asking for help. They're not, it's not, am I the asshole? They're not nothing. It's just a story. It's just a story. Bro. Okay. I like this sometimes. It's just a story. I've read it. I've re I read it the other day and it's, yeah, you, I'll let you decide and judge. All right. Say less. My neighbor has a wife <clears throat> or a girlfriend. I've seen them kiss, hold hands, all of that. During the day when his wife is at work, I notice another girl that was coming over during the day. Didn't think anything, didn't think anything of it at first. I was minding my business but their door is like right next to mine. And I see her every day coming over, stay for about an hour or so and leave. So I was like, man, let me do some detective work. Of course. <clears throat> I started noticing when she was leaving, she always has a hood on, always. And she scurry down the steps and go straight to her car, quick and then leave. He didn't walk with her, nothing. Just show up and then left. The next day I go outside to my car where I had parked in a handicap. Yes, I know, I shouldn't have, forgive me. But that's not what this is about. <coughs> well, I come downstairs, there's a cop by my car and Greg, and he says to the cop, it's his car, pointing at me. The cop asked if it's mine. I say yes, and the cop writes me a ticket. I give Greg, and, and Greg gives me the look and just walks off while I'm standing there getting a ticket issued to me. Like, seriously? So I'm sitting there thinking, oh, Gregory, you have no idea what you've just done. Oh no. So wait, so so just to pause. Yeah. Greg, at this point, all Greg's done is just say, this is not my car, it's his. Yes. He didn't call no cops to say someone's parked in a handicap. I, I don't know. That's so read that bit again. That's not what's in the story. It doesn't say that anyone's called anything. So the next day I go outside where I parked in a handicap. Yes or no, shouldn't have, forgive me. <clears throat> but that's not what this story's about. Well, I come downstairs and there's a cop by my car and Greg, um, and he says to me, and he says to the cop, um, it's his car and points at me. Okay. So I think the cop is just asking about. And yeah, then Greg's Greg, like, Greg has, his, happens to be there car. and he says, um, it's his car. So man said, Greg, you don't know what you've done. You don't know what you've done. He's just issued a ticket, say less. It sounds like he was gonna get a ticket regardless, but hey, all right, fair enough. So I'm sitting here thinking, oh, Gregory, you have no idea what you've just done. So I'm just waiting, waiting until I see Greg's wife again. I'm throwing this man under the bus like a mechanic. Oh my days, <laughs> I couldn't <bro>. wait. <laughs> so I had to get food that night. And what do you know? Her and I pull up at the same time. Man, life sure is sweet, Greg. I say, hey, um, you're Greg's wife, right? She says, yes, why? And I couldn't wait to tell her what I'd plotted. Been planning this all day. Raw. I said, I haven't met you yet, but I met Greg and his sister earlier today. She seemed sweet, she said. His sister? I said, yeah, she was up there today. She's been coming a lot lately. Bruh. Sibling love, eh? Bruh. <laughs> she said, Greg doesn't have a sister. I said, oh man, didn't know what else to say, so I just headed upstairs. <laughs> Enjoying my food while hearing Greg be told to leave. He's gone, my stomach is full, and my car is in handicap. <laughs> what a life. <laughs> man, just partner again. Partner again, and that was it. Imagine. <laughs> I need, <clears throat> she'd have to tell me who, who told you this. Facts. Facts, bro. Cause like, obviously this is not, we don't condone this kind of behavior, <laughs> yeah. but bro code is bro code bro is bro code. code. Yeah, yeah. So you mean to tell me because you parked illegally mm. and I wasn't willing to take the rap yeah. and you got written up a ticket 
You're trying to hot me up. Now we're just breaking marriages. If this is what facts, we're doing. We're ruining households. This is what we're doing because of a ticket. Nah. I know bro. I said in the Patreon episode, I'm just not petty enough. Yeah, yeah. But I'm, I promise you I'm petty yeah. enough for that. Yeah, because that's, that's, that's a unnecessarily calculated, <laughs> meticulous attack. Calculated, meticulous attack is exactly, that's exactly what that is. That's exactly what that is. And it's uncalled for. Over a ticket. Over a ticket, you know. Big man. I'm kicking down your door. Fam, you need to mind your business. Yes, 100%. I promise you I'm kicking, because in my head at that moment, I've got nothing to lose. Rago. I've, I've lost got, it all already. Yeah, I've, I've got no home. Yeah. So facts. if I get arrested tonight, at least I've got somewhere to sleep. Facts. So I've it's going a, off. I've already got a ticket. I might as well get <clears> arrested. Bro, it's game <laughs> over, <laughs> yeah. bro. I'm kicking down your door. What do you mean you told my wife about her? Yeah, that. I had that. it all sussed out. That is just, uh, nah, man. And you're just upstairs eating, eating. satisfying yeah. yourself. <laughs> satisfied, still parked in a handicap. Nah, bro, his just car giggling. is getting written off that, that same, same night. same night, rags, it has to be. It has to, bro. Oh. That's, um, yeah, that's peak, that's very peak. Um, yeah, stay in your lane and don't ruin people's lives. Long story short. That's a juicy story, that though. That is, that was juicy. And I said, oh, Greg, you have no idea what you've just done. <sighs> I'm telling you, we said it before, these Americans, bro, I can tell it's American. Yeah, 100%, bro. Chill out. <clears throat> they don't mind their business. They literally, bro. they really don't mind their business. They don't mind their Not business. Not in the slightest. That's frustrating. It is frustrating. It really, really, really is. Obviously, don't bro. cheat and then especially don't cheat in your own yard. <sighs> Plus, every day. Yeah, see, that's. It's, it's one of those ones where he was. Not uh, Gregor was bound to get caught. A hundred percent. He was bound to slip up and do something because one, you're probably bringing her quote unquote sister around the yard exactly around the same time every single day. She's doing the same routine, parking down the road, walking up, getting banged for an hour, coming out, hood on and scurrying back to the car. She's doing the same also, routine. Also, if you're not hooded up when you come in, why are you going to bother like, with the exactly, hood on the way out? Like, come on, bro. Like, it's if you want to pat and sign up properly, just pat it well. Yeah, like, yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah, just yeah, so yeah. stupid. You deserve to get caught. You, in fact, you 100% deserve to get caught. You're in your marital home, yeah. you have no respect. Zero. Have and zero. obviously it's in the marital bed. Yeah, obviously. We're not bang, I'm be. not banging her in the kitchen every day. <laughs> we, have to do our, we have to do our traditional stuff yeah, sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. I need Damn. comfort. Um, it's not all fun. I need comfort too. But yeah, um, you deserve to get caught and you deserve to get out because you're silly. You're silly. But yeah, anyway, I've silly. got an am I the asshole? All right, say less. Am I the asshole for telling my niece to stay in the closet until she gets her inheritance? My niece is 17. Uh, she's a female, obviously. I'm 42, male. Recently confided in me that she's a lesbian. I supported her, let her know I'd be there, ETC, usual ally stuff. However, she told me she's going to come out, the whole, to, come out to the whole world this week. I let her know she should absolutely wait for her grandparents, my parents, to pass away. My father is incredibly wealthy and had tens of millions of dollars in assets that he'll be passing down once he's gone. My father is a raging homophobe <laughs> <laughs> who, has, who has flat out stated any gay individual in our family would be written out of the will. And to make sure the rest of us don't just split the money with the gay relative, they will instead have the portion of the inheritance put to the side, put aside for the family member and donate it to charitable causes instead. The money will be erased from the inheritance. Since both my father and mother are incredibly poor health, stage four cancer and debilitating dementia respectively, I told Manny she should stay in the closet for a while longer. If she comes out as a lesbian and I find out, she will quite literally lose out on $7 million. She was a little sad, but was also appreciative that um, since that is obviously life-changing amount of money and that will allow her to live a luxurious life until she dies. My wife, however, said that I'm being an arsehole. I'm telling her this poor girl to hide who she is to appease these old bigots. That is true. And I am asking her, I am asking her to appease the old bigots, but I feel like her quality of life will be much better with $7 million at a cost of one to two years in the closet at, at most. I have um, I have seen my father's will and I know who is getting what. My niece is definitely getting $7 million and um, as long as my father doesn't rewrite or edit the will. Am I the arsehole for telling my niece to stay in the closet so she can be a millionaire? That's a really, really, really good am I the arsehole. Yeah. That's a really, really good one. That is a good one. <clears throat> I enjoyed that thoroughly. Um, personal, I don't think you're an arsehole at 
at all. At all. Because it's, especially if she appreciated that. Yeah, advice if she said she appreciates the advice, yeah. because one, how can I be an asshole if I don't stand to gain anything from telling her yeah. to do this? Yeah, I'm getting my money. Yeah, regardless, regardless of what you do, yeah. I'm getting my money. Yeah, yeah, so I'm yeah. purely looking out for you. Facts. And this whole like coming out thing, like don't get me wrong, <clears throat> I'm sure, obviously never done it mm. yet, um, <laughs> but I'm sure coming out is a very important like almost like a coming of age situation yeah freeing liberating powerful moment yeah but this whole like she's hiding her identity to appease bigots it's like i don't necessarily believe in that because it's mm. like define hiding your identity there's a million people in your life that you're gonna meet every day mm -hmm. that have no idea that you're gay yeah and you are not even gonna bother to mention it yeah, and yeah, it yeah. should be so intertwined in your life in my opinion mm -hmm. that you don't shouldn't feel the need to tell everyone yeah. that you're gay what well, yeah. it doesn't it shouldn't make that much of a yeah, difference yeah yeah so why is it it's so not part of normal conversation it's not part of yeah. normal conversation and it doesn't <clears throat> it's not it's not part of your identity mm. it's like it is it is it's like part of like obviously who you are mm. But it's not, it's not what defines you is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, yeah, it is part yeah, of your yeah. identity. It's not, what it's not who, what, you. what defines yeah. you. So whether you tell them or not doesn't affect how you live your life. Yeah. It doesn't affect how you move. Yeah. It doesn't affect the things you do. Yeah. So if he's saying, bro, I wouldn't tell them, you know, because if you do, <clears throat> this guy's an asshole and he's going to take seven M's off of you. Just take the seven M's and yeah. you're still going to be <laughs> eating pom. <laughs> Just go eat pom. Not in granddad's face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't let him find out. Let him find out, don't bro. Don't let granddad find out. Yeah, yeah just That's a, seven M's. Seven M's. About. Don't don't be stupid. Yeah, facts. Don't be Let's stupid. Don't be dumb out here, yeah, man. Bro. Come on. What's all this emotion Come stuff? Yeah. What's all this emotion <laughs> chat, bro? Grab my wife to the side. What are you doing? What are you actually doing? That's yeah. seven M's. We're talking seven about for my M's. Knees. How about you give up about? seven M's? Facts. How about you tell granddad something he don't want to hear? Facts. And we'll talk about who's a bigger. We'll see what M's you get. Yeah, facts. You're not even in the world. It's easy for you to say. <laughs> facts. You'll be, you'll be grips on my M's. Yeah, facts. For sure. Why did I go tell him I'm gay? And we'll see what comes we'll out your what, mouth. Exactly. You'll be saying, Daddy, please. <laughs> Daddy, don't do Daddy, it. Daddy, don't do it. I need a new yeah. whip. I need a new I need this. that I need a whip, bro. I need a Birkin. Oh, my days, yeah. bro. Yeah. Yeah. You've been looking at yards. Facts. I see you. Facts. I see you shopping for yards and you've got to tell me. <laughs> I, yeah, shut your mouth, bro. How about I tell my dad I'm gay? Yeah. What are you gonna say, Dad? Fact, who do you think you are? Factual. Because yeah, like I said, he doesn't stand to gain anything he from this. He literally doesn't. He literally does. He's definitely, definitely, definitely not an asshole. I feel like he's doing the best thing as an uncle. Yeah. He's really looking out for his niece. Especially, yeah, especially if he's seen the will, yeah. he knows what she's getting. Exactly. And then in my opinion, he would be an asshole to not say anything. In fact, a bigger asshole. If he a was just yeah, just to asshole. not say anything at all. And just be like, yeah, do you think? Knowing what's gonna happen if she does. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's an asshole behavior. That is very much so awesome. Seven M's is literally a life changer life money, money. And you're gonna be, you're gonna do all right for the rest of your life. Facts, facts. You don't need to work again for the rest of your facts, life. Facts. So let's, yeah, that, that's stupid, stupid behavior. Yeah. Good am I the asshole though. Very, Juicy am I the arsehole. Good, I the That's arsehole. one of my favorites ever. Yeah, very good am I the arsehole. Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. <laughs> that's mad. That is mad. Also, I know he doesn't sound anything to gain, but he's probably a bit like, if I deep it, deep it, mm. he's probably a bit nervous thinking, bruh, if she does come out. Yeah. I'm not, cause I'm not trying to get rid of the will myself. Okay. So if she comes out yeah. and he writes out the will yeah. and doesn't chat to her and all this kind of stuff. The granddad. The granddad yeah, 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 yeah. is like, uh, I'm gonna have to defend her the niece. The niece. Yeah. And I don't want that kind uh, of conflict. Yeah, this is my pop. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like I, don't, I don't want him writing me out uh, nothing. 3.5, 3.5, yeah, yeah. give me half. Give me half at least, yeah, yeah, It's yeah, not yeah, me, yeah. but you know, I've got yeah, to defend yeah, yeah. Come my on, niece. Come on, she's a child. She's a child, bro. Yeah. I've got to defend her, but I need M's. Yeah, 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 facts. I need M's. Yeah, I'm your child. Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I'm your child and I've mentally planned and yeah, spent. Yeah, yeah. I mentally yeah, spent I've been window all. shopping for yeah. years, please. I need it. Yeah, and I, I made promises I can't Listen to your keep. breathing, bro. You've got not you, long left. You haven't. We're do so the, close. Do the right thing. We're so close. We're I've so been, close. I've been tapping my mum, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My mom, Talk my mom, to my mom, him. She's got dementia. What's your... Talk to him. <laughs> She's got dementia. Talk to him, please. <laughs> I'll be trying to coerce a conversation. Yeah, bro. Oh, my days. That's crazy. Yeah, I have no idea. I'm so happy that my, like... 
My dad's obviously does all right, yeah. but I don't think he's got M's for me. Yeah, I don't think he's got M's yeah. for me. Yeah. So I'm grateful for that. Yeah, I'm so but grateful for that. I'm boy. grateful. I'm I'm holding my own right now. Yeah, oh. I'm grateful, bro. Because I'm yeah. not. Because it's always the man them that got M's that are are, are tyrants. Yeah, yeah. They're always the man yeah, that got yeah, that, yeah. that thing over you that tyrants. Mm, mm, in mm. same thing in succession. Yeah. Greg's granddad. Yeah. Yeah. He had him running around, he bro. He had he two fifty M's for him. That? Yeah, that's crazy. I'll do what you tell me to do. Factual. But I'd need like, I need some. I need to see some. Yeah, yeah. You, you can't, can't just say it, to me, yeah, yeah, there's yeah. two fifty M's waiting because, for you. Yeah, yeah, because you change your mind all the time. All the time. So I need, I need a contract saying no matter what, yeah, I'm yeah. getting this two fifty. Yeah, 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 but the yeah. granddad was never gonna play that kind of game. Never. Because he'd be like, yeah, you're a blood sucker. Get away from Facts. Me. He is. The granddad knows. When man said it's about two hundred and fifty M's. M's, I was like. That's what? And it was what, only a 3% stake or something like that? Yeah, ridiculous. Wow, that's about 250 Waystar Royco, they make billions. Yeah, that's, that's a money show. Billions, billions. Oh my God, I was gonna talk about more, but yeah, it's, yeah, it's you can't, you can't, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, next so week, juicy, next bro. Week, next week, I promise, I promise. Damn, yeah, yeah, right, yeah, soon come. You've got a thread for us to finish on, yeah? Yes, sir. <clears throat> right, so this thread was a post on Instagram and it was just all of the comments, but I wrote the comments down on my phone. All right, gang. So the thread was, comment like a hurt girl on her IG story. Okay. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So I've just wrote down a few. She was a deer, but she was afraid to hunt. Oh my God. <laughs> so oh. He, he was afraid to hunt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She yeah, was yeah, a yeah. deer, but he was afraid to hunt. Shut your <laughs> mouth, bro. <laughs> she was a deer and he was a Honda Civic. He hit and drove off. <laughs> Oh my days, I can buy my own flowers. She was an open book, but he was illiterate. Shut up. That was so <laughs> jarring, man. She was an open book, but he was illiterate. Why is it among females, it's never her fault? It is never. She's never just butters. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Or annoying or She's whatever. She's never just butters or, or annoying. Or manipulating. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Gaslighting. <laughs> Gaslighting. <laughs> Bro, it's yeah. never her fault. She was an open book, but homeboy couldn't read. Get out of my face, man. Literally get out of my face, bro. <laughs> oh, it does. No one, no. And I know it's like, no fat brethren yeah. of the girl I've just pied yeah. could ever come to me and tell me she's an open book, but you're just illiterate. Because obviously it's the fat brethren. Yeah, yeah, it. yeah, facts. It's not her. Facts. And it, sometimes it is her. And that's just obviously like, shut up. <laughs> what were we lying about? Yeah, yeah. What were we actually lying about? Yeah. <laughs> you can't lie to me. Yeah, 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 I know you. All right. If he wanted to, he would. Standard. But that is kind of, <laughs> sometimes it's true. Sometimes it's mm. also sharp. <laughs> yeah. Working out because we didn't. <laughs> this is my favorite. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Because we, we did, did it, yeah. Shut up. <laughs> Literally, shut up. Wow, that's funny. <laughs> this one is my favorite one. Realize, realize, real life. <laughs> realize, realize, real life. Oh my God. All right, Nicki Minaj, shut up, man. Oh, that's jokes. Oh my days. I don't regret the love I gave because you probably needed it. Right. This is backhanded. This is brutal. <laughs> she was a fairy, but he clipped her wings. Yeah. <laughs> you lost the moon while staring at the stars. <laughs> Man was stargazing. Oh, facts, bro. Them stars were bright. They were bright. And the moon don't do nothing. Yeah, it just stays it there. It just stays there. It's just been there. Yeah, get active. <laughs> These mans are darting across get the sky. Active. <laughs> Do something for me. Bro, these are the sparkling. Facts, man, shoot Yeah, yeah I'm making wishes up there. Do something. <laughs> oh no, oh. God, that's funny. You're just too reliable. Oh my days. I got a few more. Yeah. Um, comment like a hurt girl on her IG story. My son is my king. <laughs> hurt people, hurt people. Yeah, sharp. I wish you the best, but you already had that. <laughs> oh! <laughs> This game so wow, this is so triggering. Yeah. <laughs> Find a guy that ruins your lipstick, not your mascara. Yeah, I heard. I've actually seen that one before. <laughs> I didn't turn the page, I closed the book. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
<laughs> that was sweet in me. She was done. Bro. She was done. Oh, my God. I days. didn't change the page. I, I closed, closed the, the book. book. She had enough, bro. Yeah, 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 literally. She had enough. But oh, yeah, that was it, wow, bro. that's funny. That was it, wrapped up. That's hilarious, bro. Oh. I can't stand indirect. Oh, bro, say Indirect at me. foolishness. Just at me. Just yeah, tell me say something to yeah. me. Do you know, um, I, I'm contemplating like unfollowing Shade, bro, you know? I think about that quite a bit. Swear. Not just Shade, bro, but like all of them. Like, mm. Shade, bro, uh, not just whatever. There's another one. Um, ends TV, ends TV, yeah, yeah, I think yeah, about yeah. yeah. I because I like them for memes and shit, that's that's the and thing. tweets and that's threads, the they that's do the good thing. ones. But when I'm seeing, like, when's Steph gonna leave Burner Boy alone? <laughs> do you know what I mean? Oh, because <laughs> she's leg, just random, yeah, shit like that, yeah. It's, it's that's jarring. hilarious. When Steph gonna leave Burner Boy alone, <laughs> <laughs> bro. <laughs> I can't stand to look at it all the time. Oh, the ones I hate is when they post, they post a, a picture or a still of something, for example, UFO sighting, blah, blah, blah. They, they describe everything that happened. Oh, click the link in our bio. Show yeah. me the video. Facts. Show Fam. me the video. I'm not going to your page. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Show bro. me the video. They click the link in the bio is so fast. So, because you have bro. to search through so and many Sometimes they're videos. even adding it on a different page. Yeah, it's like. For the full details, go to this page. Yeah, I'm like, like, what, what? Are you talking about? Yeah, it's jarring, bro. Yeah. But yeah, I can't I take you. the celebrity gossip. I hate you. And I can't stand to see. What I hate is when Shea Borrow will post something about you. Yeah. And then you. As the celebrity in the crosshairs, yeah. head to Twitter to defend yourself, yeah, yeah. and then they post, post the defense. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jarring, bro, you yeah. can't win this game. Oh, that happened with um, uh, was it crept or was it Conan? Yeah, 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 it was uh, it was crept. Crept, yeah, but he's defending his girl or his new girl yeah, or yeah, something yeah, yeah. like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah he's yeah. tweeting and yeah, they're yeah, reposting. Yeah, yeah. They're just tweet. reposting a whole. Like, You're giving a bit of ammo, bro. Ah. It's embarrassing. Ah. It's so embarrassing. Ah, just stop. Days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's long. That's long. That's long. Because they did that. Because this one went about with the, the Steph London thing. Yes. <clears throat> she tweeted Sutton the other day. Yeah. Miscellaneous. Yeah. Miscellaneous tweet. Yeah. And then they took it and was like, looks like she's still upset about Burner's new thing. Yeah. And then she yeah. had to take to it again and say, I wasn't even chatting like, about yeah, her. Yeah, yeah, This is who I was chatting yeah, about. Yeah, and I'm like, stop doing no, this. Yeah. Why are you fueling You're the so fire? lame. Just <laughs> get on with your life. Yeah, facts. But it must it must get jarring. But then of again, of course it gets jarring. I feel like if you're a celebrity at that status or at that at that your pinnacle of that status or whatever, you're gonna get indirects every day, facts. every day. So just crack on. Literally crack on, bro. And if that's the thing as well, they're like little. It's like when your mum when you're getting bullied at school, yeah. And your mum's like, just pay them no attention. Yeah. They'll get bored. Yeah. That's exactly what Shade Bros like. Yeah, yeah. They yeah, at yeah. the people consistently that they yeah. know are gonna get triggered yeah. and head straight to Twitter. Uh, they're refreshing your yeah, feed because yeah. as soon as you reply, they're like, gang, yeah, screenshot, yeah, yeah, bang. Yeah. Here I've we go. Got it. I've got him. Let's I've go. Got it. Let's go. Yeah. If they do it to you and you just air it, yeah. they'll allow you. Fact. This is when you you man see me on a yeah. keyboard tour. They're, they're my face is in there. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, yo, 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 yo. <laughs> Jokes. Brought up. But yeah, man. Anyway, <sighs> guys, we're going to leave it there. We are, man. Thank you so much for being with us today. As this has been a Peng One. Yes, sir. Um, enjoy the summer. Yeah, it's smooth sack summer. Facts. City boys are up. Facts. Let's get after it. Yes, sir. And uh, as always, love, love, love. Gang, gang, gang. God bless. Blah, 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 blah.